Toshiba S6033. I'm breaking the seal. Breaking the seal. plugged in and moved it up for the first time. 6980 has the Core 2 Duo. So here we go. Come on. Oh. They actually changed the mouse pad. It feels a little bit rougher, which is fine with me. So this is this shows how easy it is um, to connect to your network um, before the computer hey everybody. boots up. Sorry. <laughs> um, it already found my network, so I will enter the key, and we should be good to go. <clears throat> Just gonna connect to the network. Hopefully it's going to connect to the network. Okay, there we go.
Sure is slow. Thing's taking forever to boot up. Mm. This might be a ten minute video. Okay, so while we're waiting for it to boot up, it's been a couple minutes and it's just now coming up. Uh, this has the Intel Core i7, 500 gigabyte hard drive, um, 4 gigabyte DDR3 RAM. It's got, I think, three USB ports, HDMI, um, and then a uh, DVD, multi-write, burner, quarter, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's it. The battery, I think is a 6 cell, so it's actually not that great a battery, but I'm going to put my 12 cell in it, of course. So, I think we finally got this booted up here. Alright, so the computer's booted up. It, uh, it's actually right now installing updates. Um, well, it's actually still doing a few things. Seems to be a little slow. Yep, it's definitely doing a lot because it is really slow. That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, so man. This is what happens when you buy a computer at Best Buy. Software installer. Bunch of crap. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. So. Shows what we're working with here. We're running at 1.6. Goes up to 2.8 with the turbo boost. <clears throat> So here is what is impressive. We're looking at the uh, CPU usage in the task manager, um, showing all eight um, quad core plus four virtual to give it eight. Um, I mean, just looking at that is impressive compared to my other Toshiba, which is a dual core. So here showing both computers side by side, uh, CPU usage, um, the one on the left is a 6980, um, I think all I'm running is Firefox and with multiple windows open within it, but, you know, two, two processors, it's running probably about an average of 10%, uh, I don't have any programs running other than what's running in the background on the new computer. Um, but it's sitting at zero, and that's where it's been for a while.